What is up YouTube, Lunar here, and today I am bringing you another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This one should be pretty quick, as I just want to go over how you can create text or type that looks like this. Uh, to me, this looks like it's kind of wrapped around a building, and to me, it is also very, very interesting because it can be seen either way as like going into the plane or like coming out at you, and that's up to the viewer, so it's kind of a cool little optical illusion also. So let's get started. Um, I guess what you're going to want to do is pick a somewhat bold uh, font. And for this, I might just do the word uh, typography in all caps. And I have a font that I like Proxima Nova. I'll use black. That way it's nice and thick. Lots of space to uh, put the dividing lines. Uh, okay, so what you want to do next after you have your word that you want to bend or you know misshape I don't know what you would call it. It's not really bending. It's not really warping either. So who knows? Um, you want to expand it. So I'll do object expand Hit OK, and so now you have your expanded type up type mm, And now I'm just gonna draw a line uh, Let's put the line right here like that and so select both your type and your line and you can get the shape builder tool if you just click it and now you have to have your things selected but if you click it you'll see that when you hover over now it has like a um, dot pattern kind of thing going on so what you want to do is you want to click on this side of the R and then this side of the R and then you're done with that and so you need to make this R black again so you can just select everything and make it black I'm going to zoom in a little bit and get rid of the extra uh, lines that are there. Actually, I didn't get rid of all of the other ones, so let me undo a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these lines. And now, um, what you can do is, so now it's all grouped, you just need to ungroup it. And so you, um, wait, I did the wrong key command, doing the Mac key commands. So now if you move the R, you can move that part and it's kind of, you know, split. So you want to group this side and you want to group this other side, like so, and you can kind of take it apart. Um, so what you want to do now is select your stuff. If you click and hold on the scale tool, it'll bring you to the shear tool and that's what you want. And what you'll see now is you see this, um, let me zoom in a little bit. You see this uh, like turquoise pointer thing. Uh, you need, and what you have now is it'll. If you click anywhere right now, it will move the pointer. So you need to move the pointer towards the middle, and like that. And then now you have the uh, an actual arrow for your selector, and now you can drag it up and down like so. And if you don't hold Shift, you get like you know everything. But if you hold Shift, it'll stay on the certain plane. So there's that side. And now if you select the other side, uh, select the shear tool again, you'll see that the teal thing is there. You need to make it or make it go over here. And then you can just move this down too. And then there you have it. Now you have your skewed bent typography. And it might look a little bit better if you change the colors up. Give you that optical illusion to where like this is either the back corner of a wall or it's the front corner. I don't know, it's kind of weird. And then if you start adding shadows behind the words, it gets pretty trippy. <laughs> so, yeah, this is basically how you do it. You can expand on this by adding multiple breaks in the le in the words and letters and stuff, or you can you know um, write different words and have like a whole saying all in the same area. Pretty cool stuff. So I guess that's basically it for this episode. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the comment section, and I will see you guys next week.